So there we go. We figured out our x value and our y value. So here, look at right here. Therefore, that's the therefore sign. Like three dots. Therefore, our x and y coordinates would be but the, our x and y value coordinates would be x is minus three with minus half right there, right? And this is what we actually needed. And so we just figured it out. We just figured out the x and y values, the coordinates, with the simul uh, with the um, substitution method. Now I will show you the addition subtraction method. Dear viewers, today I'm going to show you how to figure out simultaneous linear equations using the substitution method and also the addition subtraction method. First, I'll show you the substitution method. Okay, so the substitution method is really easy and also is the addition subtraction method. First, I'll so show you that one with a really simple equation, so it's going to be really easy for us. Okay, and our equation will be 3x minus 4y is equals to minus seven. And it's not just one equation because uh, one equation means it's just a linear equation. Simultaneous means more than one equation. That's why we can have like one or more. They can have three or two or five or whatever. But today we're just gonna be working with two linear equations. So simultaneous linear equations. Okay, my other equation is minus five x uh, plus six y is equals to 12. Okay, these are my two linear equations, right? So there we go. So what we'll do is first, well, this is our equation one, and this is our equation two. Okay, what we'll do is we'll work with our equation number one first. Okay, so 3x minus 4y is equals to minus seven, and we'll figure, we can figure out the x from here. So then 3x is equals to minus seven, plus 4y, 3, and then um, we're going to divide it both sides by 3. So the x is equal to minus 7 plus 4y divided by 3. Okay, our x value just came, but it's not our x value. This is just our x equation. We have to uh, put this inside of our... Uh, second equation to figure out the oh, we can figure out the y from there and then we can come back here and figure out the x after figuring out the y okay so i'm going to put this equation to the side let me just write down on the side right here that x is equals to uh minus seven plus four y divided by three okay and we'll erase this so we have more space to work for the equation two our equation two Right, we're, we, we'll be working with that right now. Is minus 5, then just insert our x value, or our x equation. We didn't figure out the value yet. Our x equation is minus 7 uh, plus 4y divided by 3, right? And then plus 6y is equals to 12. And now what we'll do is minus times minus is uh, plus. And then 5 times 7 is 35. And then five, uh, minus times plus is minus. Sorry about that. Minus. And then uh, 5 times five times 4y is 20y. Okay? And then over 3. Plus 6y over 1 is equal to 12. Okay, so now we can figure out the LCM from here. So the LCM would definitely be 3. And so then uh, 35 minus 20y would remain there. And then here multiplied by 3. That means also multiplied by 3 right here. So then it would be um, plus 18y equals to 0, 12. Right? So now uh, let's write to the side. Um, what we can do is minus and plus is minus. So we have to do the minus. So let's write down here 35. Um, then that would be that would be a minus two because the the greater number is minus. So minus two y, right? And then divided by three is equals to twelve. Then 
we can multiply the 12 right there. So 12 times 3 is 36. So 35 minus 2y is equal to 36. Then we'll subtract that here. So 30, we'll move that there. So then that would be minus. So 36 minus 35 is just 1. So minus 2y is equal to 1. Then we'll divide minus 2 from here and minus 2 from there. So that would be minus. Well, y, sorry, y is equal to minus 1 over 2, minus half. So we figured out our y value, not our y equation. We can just, after uh, inserting the x value, we just, enter, after inserting the x equation, we figured out the y value. Now we'll insert the y value inside of the x equation to figure out the x, this value, actually. Right? So then here, let me do it over here. What we'll do is x, here, sorry, x is equals to, uh, minus 7 plus 4 and then in parentheses and that would be minus half right that's our y value and then divided by 3 so x is equals to minus 7 no oh, remember that oh, sorry minus 7 plus times minus is minus 4 over 2 4 divided by 2 would be 2 divided by 3 so x is equals to minus and minus. You have to do the plus, so that would be nine, and uh, the sign is minus divided by three. So then x would be minus three. So there we go. We figured out our x value and our y value. So here, let me write here. Therefore, that's the therefore sign. Like three dots. Therefore, our x and y coordinates would be our x and y value coordinates would be x is minus three with minus half right there, right? And this is what we actually needed. And so we just figured it out. We just figured out the x and y values, the coordinates, with the, simul uh, with the um, substitution method. Now I will show you the addition subtraction method. And we're gonna be using the same equation, but um, we won't be doing the same, like, um, math that we did we will be doing the same equation but the way we solve it won't be the same right and i actually prefer the substitution method but the addition subtraction method is also really easy so you can, you can also try that out so uh, we're going to we're going to use these two but for the subtraction addition method now what we'll do is that what we have to do is we have to make the x's same the x like uh, the coefficient with the x is same Right? So then, after, let's say we can make this 15, or we can make this 15 too. Okay, so what we can do is we can multiply by 5 right here, multiply by, five, by 3 right here. Then, both would be 15, just there would be a minus here, but that's no problem. So we can, and then, why I want to do this is because I want to, like, take out the value of x. I don't want x in here at all. I want to kick it out. That's why I want to make them the same value so that I can kick them out. Right? So if we multiply by 5 over here, equation 1, we come up by 5 over here, then that would be uh, 15x. And then we have to multiply by 5 with everything. And then minus 20y is equals to minus 35. Okay? And then our equation 2, let me just erase that so we don't need it. Our equation 2, if we multiply by 3 over here, because we can't multiply by 5 or else it won't be 15, it'll be like 25 right here right so we need uh, multiplied by 3 so then that would be minus 15 X guess what we wanted but we have to also do for that one too and uh, multiplied by 3 would be plus 18 Y is equals to 36 okay now if we add both of these then we will get we will then our X's will be gone okay so then if we add these then the X's will be crossed out so let me show you, if they cross out, then we have to add these, then minus and plus would be minus, we have to do the minus would be 2y, and the greater sign is minus 2y, right, is equals to, here we'd also have to add, so minus and plus would be minus, and the 1, and the greater sign, and the greater here, the greater sign is plus, so just 1, right, and then y, if we divide by minus 2 on both sides, would be, minus 1 over 2. Just our coordinates that we figured out in our last substitute method, right? 
So now we have to figure out the x from here. So now we figured out our y. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place our y value inside our first equation, right? So here, let me erase this. And then we're gonna write down our first equation and put the value there, right? So uh, three, three x minus four, a y value is minus half, right? Is equals to minus seven. You can place it in either or of the equations. I place it in the first one. You can even do the second one, but it just has to be any of the equations. Then what we're gonna do is uh, 3x, oh, here, where's that? 3 is yeah, so minus times minus is plus, and then four times one is four, but four divided by two would be two. So we're at two there, plus two minus seven, then 3x is equals to minus seven, if we move it there, it would be minus 2. Then 3x is equals to minus 9 because minus, minus and minus makes plus. So we have to do the plus, which is 9. And then the sign is minus. And so if we divide uh, 3 with both sides, then it would be x is equals to minus 3. It's good. Okay? So then, therefore, our uh, x and y coordinates would be, just like the substitution method, minus three, our x value right here, and minus one over two, which is our y value, right? And this is exactly what we got in our substitution method. So as you can see, uh, it's very simple in both of the ones. I prefer the substitution, I prefer the substitution method. You guys can do any of these ways. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you.